E3 here, following my unique vibration, my unique flow state, and my unique life purpose, which we each have. We each have a unique vibration. You know, like when you're doing something you love, that feeling. We each have a unique flow state. When you're just in your zone, you lose track of time and space and fears. And we each have a unique life purpose. So, there's lots of pain. <laughs> oh, so this has been a good learning experience for me. The past 11 months it's, uh, since the brain cancer diagnosis and discovery of the tumor. Um, like exploring those three energies of my unique vibration, flow state, and life purpose. Um, especially being alone so much. I'm never alone. My angels are always with me, but like for example, now I'm in the hospital alone. Besides my angels and my own mind and my breath and the nurses. So actually, I'm not really alone, but my point is I feel like there's value in connecting with the truth of who you are, what you love, your passions, your creativity, your life purpose. There's value even if no one sees it, even if it's just for one second. In the same way, if you, uh, if you affirm something, like I've been doing these E3 affirmations for a while. It's the name that my shaman and teacher gave me when I asked if he could give me a new name. So E3 means embodied, empowered, and ecstatic. It's definitely a good practice to do these affirmations while there's extreme pain. And also honoring the body, not pushing it so far that there's danger. Um... But I really believe that even one moment of feeling love, feeling your unique vibration, your flow state, your unique life purpose, even one moment has value. So I can't do these affirmations verbally for more than just a few minutes because of the extreme pain there. <laughs> um, so, but I've had to tell myself, well, that doesn't matter. I can love myself for one moment love the nurses here and the doctors for one moment or however long I can and that has value and trusting that either that will lead to more health and more ability to have more moments of sharing love in different ways or the physical body will stay the same and the love will still be there so with that being said, I want to use my remaining energy and pain tolerance to uh, practice this affirmation. I practice it all day long and all night long, uh, but f for a few weeks I've been making usually at least one of these videos per day. I don't really know why, it just feels right in my heart to do it. Part of it is trusting that I will heal, I will create a beautiful life, and I'll have these videos to document the journey from where I am now to where I will be. So with that being said, the key part of this affirmation for me is to awaken happiness. Like not a fake smile, but a real smile. And not fake, like positive energies, but real positive energies. So sometimes that takes a few seconds, sometimes a few minutes, but sometimes I guess not at all, but the key part for me, and I, I think for anyone doing an affirmation, is to be as present as you can and just do the affirmation as a practice without expectation and then see what happens. Hi. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You want me to just mm. take them off and put it over there? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Right. But I don't need the uh, insure. Okay.
And I'm gonna have a big salad tonight. We got extra waters up here on the floor if you need them, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, would you be able to, either you or could you ask a nurse to bring in more ice for this food? That's kind of like my refrigerator. Cause... Okay, I'll just bring you more ice. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, so this prayer is for myself for every human being on this planet, that we all may feel embodied, empowered, and ecstatic, just as we are. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am <laughs> ecstatic. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am ecstatic. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am ecstatic. Just as I am. And may you be as well. E3 here, wishing you well.